this video we're going to go over random number generation. There's a few different ways to do it. I'm just going to show you how I normally do it. Uh, you can set a max and a minimum number and it really serves me well so this is just the way that I do it. But other people who do it differently, they're not right or wrong, it's just different. Uh, notice at the top I've imported this package java.util.star. Uh, you will need that one to do it my way. Anyways, the way to do it is to type in random. When people type in ran there just out of convention, you can call it anything you want. Uh, I'll just call it randy just to show you that it can be any kind of name you want. We go equals new random. Open and close our parentheses and semicolon. This next line is where we'll actually generate the random number. So let's make the first one an integer. So int random one equals, then we call it randy dot next int. Sorry. And then we have a little formula that we use. So it's max minus min plus one plus min. So let's say I want to generate between 500 and negative 500. I'll show you that this also works with negative and positive numbers. So we'd have the max, which is 500, minus the min, which is negative 500. And then at the end of that, we are going to add one plus one. And then we are also going to add the min, which is negative 500. And that one should be working nicely. So we'll, uh, I won't say what it is, we'll just print out random one. And if I run this a few times, you should notice that's between 500 and negative 500. Negative 44, negative 341. Uh, there, we're finally getting positive numbers. Thought I had uh, did something wrong for a second. We're getting a lot more negatives than positives. That's just by random chance. Uh, and I don't want to go into the reason that's a statistics thing and not really relevant to this video. But it is generating random integer between 500 and negative 500. So the next thing we're going to do is go over how to generate a uh, double. And you could also use this for different data types, but I'm just going to do a integer and a double. Those are the two main ones that people use. You could also use like a long or whatever else you want. So the way to do that is a uh, random. Then you pick your favorite name. My favorite name is Joey equals new random. I'm going to close parentheses and semicolon. So notice these start out the exact same way. There. there we go that starts out exactly how this does just a different name I picked my favorite name and then we'll uh, we want to double so double I'll call it random two equals Joey dot next double notice the uh, the name here matches up with that and this brandy matches up with that. I could actually call this one Randy and it would do fine, but it's not a, you don't want to get in the habit of doing that. It'll create problems for you down the road. And we multiply this right here by this time formula is max minus min plus min. We don't actually have to add one to it. Uh, don't worry about the theory behind that adding one. That'll be, uh, that's something covered in J221 or that I will be covering in J221. And let's say I want this to be between 10 and negative 10. So I have the max is 10. Then I subtract negative 10 because that's my min. Then I want to add the min plus negative 10. And we end this with a semicolon. So I think my parentheses are right there. And then I will print this one out, random 2. So the first number will be between 500 and negative 500. Second one will be a decimal between 10 and negative 10. And it looks like I'm getting a good mix of negatives and positives, and it seems to be working really well. 
So, like I said at the beginning, there are a few different ways to generate random numbers, but this is one that I found that I think is fairly easy to remember for working in every situation. You'll find shorter ways to do it, but they won't work in every situation. So, this is the one that I suggest you memorize. Thanks for watching.